on my way to Mexico. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, I just had some Starbucks. So happy. I had to like rush to put my mask back on because that money behind me did a sneeze. I'm gonna send noob. They'll call it for me. Anyway, um Yeah, so I board at um start boarding at seven something seven 25 in 25 minutes yeah i start boarding in 25 minutes excited um yeah i'm gonna sleep and i need to pee in about 10 minutes just to make sure i'm not like on the flight and everything but this was one of those decisions that i i just i felt like i didn't want to tell everybody and like i just I just wanted like for myself I feel like I feel that way about um, solo trips uh, you know from no one I feel like that's that's my approach to like my solo trips and I am very 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 excited I only told my mom mm. get there I will check back in with you guys yay i'm in mexico oh my gosh so i flew to mexico city i left fort lauderdale like early this morning um i flew from miami actually i got here mm -hmm. safely and i'm so excited it's one of i'm doing two airbnbs this trip i'm so happy i got here early because i still have part of my day and uh, yeah i'm gonna give you guys a little tour i took my pants off so i can't go outside yet but yeah i decided to do two airbnbs this trip because i wanted to and uh, i feel like i wanted to experience you know an apartment and a house so i did both i'm not spending a very long time here but for this trip specifically i decided i wanted to do actual activities and yeah i had the money to do it so i did it so later i'm actually gonna be going to a salsa class which i'm so excited about oh my gosh after i take a nap i'm gonna go downstairs and i'm gonna get some like groceries and stuff um all of my activities and everything are booked but i just need to get like regular food which i don't mind doing you know i like traveling like this because if you're new here i really really want to migrate and i want to leave jamaica because it's a shithole so you know me traveling is a way to escape that I like where i want to set up life you know only do that by visiting places what the loft looks like it's like a like a small home but it's a loft you know it's very compact which i really like is the living area this is the couch and everything and then these are the steps these are like storage i feel like living like this forces you to be a minimalist you know and not have a whole bunch of stuff and then these are the steps to come up to where the bed is and then that's the bed up there oh my gosh and i have to actually crouch down you can't walk up here can't walk up here so you can't like jump up in your sleep you know yeah but that's just so pretty and then you can see like down there love how everything is looking and then let me actually just open the door so you guys can see outside it's so beautiful and blue blue skies Like I was saying earlier, I'm just gonna take a nap because I really, really need a nap. I am exhausted. Like, exhausted is not the word. Okay, so like I was saying, I have a salsa class later, which I am just... I'm, it, it, I don't have the words. Passport stamped the fuck up. We're doing it. Um, yeah, let me just get my 
thingy. Let's hope I get all the moves right. right? Yeah. <laughs> Seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Thursday and I slept so well even though I have jet lag I've been flying through like so many time zones um, and I haven't really been sleeping all that well I before I eat any outside food I like to make sure you know I have some toast at least you know to wake up my stomach and <clears throat> make sure that I'm okay so it's a bit chilly which i don't mind because i get to layer up and stuff but um yeah i'm going to do a bike ride today which i am so excited for last night was so amazing oh my <laughs> last night was so amazing i did a salsa class with javier i will link his thing um down in the comments i will link his airbnb link it's a very intimate um salsa lesson you learn a bit about it um not super fancy or anything like that which you guys know i mean i i do love luxury and stuff but i thought it was just very nice he's very patient um it was just so authentic like it felt that way not to mention the tacos that we had after oh my gosh oh my gosh you guys know i love mexican food but obviously i've never had real mexican food i mean i've had it in new york but that's new york mexican food even though it was prepared by mexican mexicans having it here oh my gosh oh my gosh i Wow, is all I can say. I had four different tacos. Well, four tacos, but I had three different types of tacos. I had this al pastor taco. Oh my god. Oh my god. It, I don't even love pork, but let me tell you, that tasted like straight. I j oh my god, it was just so good. Oh, I'm like lots of words. And then I had a nopales taco, which is cactus. I've had that in New York already and I really, really loved it. So I figured, let me try it out. And I'm so happy I did. Oh my gosh, so good. They did it with like cheese and onion, cilantro all over. And oh my gosh, amazing. And then I had a gringas taco which is like chicken breast i know i love me some chicken breast chicken breast with onion cilantro um and then queso on top cheese so good it was just like gooey goodness i'm definitely gonna break out when i go home but 
amazing then javier was just so amazing such a nice person you know so i'm gonna do another tour with him on sunday hopefully before i leave to go to the airport yeah i uh, this is such a great feeling oh my gosh such a really really great feeling yeah my next tour is at 11 30 and it's actually not too far from here i am very excited and yeah the only thing is that it's pretty chilly which is fine um because i make sure to pack you know for the weather and stuff oh it's just 59 degrees it's gonna be like 62 so i'm just gonna layer up and stuff and you know i should be fine but yeah i'm so excited i haven't ridden ridden road ridden i haven't ridden a bicycle in a long time so not sick it's just allergies just to get that out of the way later <laughs> mexico doors to refugees that were fleeing and that were that were uh, yeah that were coming that were asking for uh, as asylum yes. yeah political asylum for from I am sorry my English and I haven't spoken English in days <laughs> from the Franco dictatorship in Spain that was a big historical moment because the relationship with the Spanish has always been like. Ugh.
I just put a wrist. Oh. I got some. I don't even know what I'm eating, but it tastes good. It's like filled with something. It's good. Mm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. It's like into the time. Nine thirty something. Maybe like two hours left. Um, until we get there. I am so excited. But yeah. I've just been sleeping on the way because what else am I gonna do? But it's like it has like gooey. I don't know what that is. It sort of tastes like um like jam, you know. Then I got two of these. Yummy. Do you mind getting one of me on the step right there? Like from here? Yeah. San Miguel de Allende. It's been going so great. I'm just very tired. So most of this vlog is probably gonna be a voiceover. Let me just say, solo travel is it. I re recommend it to everybody. Yeah, I'm having the time of my life. I'm a bit tired though, I'm not gonna lie. Beautiful out here. It's literally just so amazing. Um, oh, look at the birdie. Look at the birdie.
for the big dog? Yeah. Okay, I just got to my next Airbnb. Excuse the mess. Oh my god. Um, it's literally perfect. Oh my god, I'm actually considering extending my flight just so I can enjoy this space. It would just be an extra day. It's literally perfect. Like, literally, for, like, oh my god. I can't wait to jump in this bed. <laughs> I'm, I'm lost for words, honestly. I was so magical. Like it was literally the definition of perfect. That's what today was. Um, I definitely am exhausted. Tomorrow is going to be an even busier day. Because I'm going to go on a hot air balloon tomorrow. Which is literally like what the fuck. <laughs> Are they... I, 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 wow, that's all I can say. I, I just, wow. Um, so let me actually get this toaster together. Um, yeah, so basically, I'm gonna move here. <laughs> this is definitely on the top of my list for migration. Not gonna lie to you. Um, I am really not feeling like going back home, which is, hold on, let me get my... Okay, I'm back with both eyes because y'all really need the visuals so y'all can capture the angles and really see what's going on. Okay. Bad, bad, big. Yeah, yeah. Not possible. Uh, yeah. This is a bad show for the Of course. Yes, I'm so excited. Thank you. 
Siente calor, sí. No sé qué le va a dar. Niño, niño. Se ve que está muy Está It used to look like this, smooth, you know, covered with this layer of, of a stucco, painted. Usually you're going to find blue, red, and white colors on it. That is like a must. So I just eat it like a taco. Yeah. All right. Today was really really good but I have some really sad news I fainted oh my gosh I fainted on um, I fainted on the pyramids today which whew, the altitude it wasn't that I was hungry or anything it was just the altitude 
um, that I'm not used to like exerting that much and like I said the altitude you know kind of it sucked the life out of me um, but this morning I did the most amazing thing I've ever done in my life and I went on a hot air balloon today this morning at like 7 a.m. as you call I'm obviously gonna include clips here clips that I didn't include before but it was just such a fulfilling feeling oh my gosh probably the best money I've ever spent probably the best money I've ever spent ever on myself oh my gosh it was such an enriching feeling I literally felt like the anxiety was floating away from my body like literally just phew. I thought I would have been scared like the intrusive thoughts would have taken over but no not this time honey not this time I will say I will say I thought it was gonna be a lot colder than it was thankfully it wasn't I I, <laughs> I didn't pack like a puffer or anything so I had to just double up on my jackets but my tour guide was amazing oh my gosh I will leave the link to his um Airbnb to, to his Airbnb experience um down in the description box if you guys would like to you know support him tell Eric that I sent you Eric if you're watching this you're amazing thank you so much sending you so much love you were so gracious to me and probably one of the best persons that I've met on this trip so far I've been meeting so many awesome people connecting with so many awesome people and it's just been it's just been so lovely oh my gosh um people underestimate solo trips thinking solo trips are for the lonely what was i saying i'm so grateful because i just i feel like crying and i'm honestly probably gonna cry probably gonna cry because it's just been so amazing um yeah the hot from the hot air balloon to the road trip yesterday to the salsa class on wednesday to the bike tour on thursday just amazing just an all-around amazing trip and i'm so happy that i decided to come and decided to you know take the sleep for myself and spend some money on myself girl money gonna always spin the block that's what that's my main thing like in life right now money is gonna always spin the block gonna always spin the motherfucking block okay this morning i have so many photos and everything i'm gonna leave it um leave the link to my instagram and everything down in the description box for you guys to see that the travel i really i'm considering taking this travel thing really seriously and i'm already starting to plan my next trip um to another south american country central american or south american country i'm going that's all i have to say somewhere in latin america i'm the fuck going okay i'm going um <laughs> yeah um just to shout out a few people that i met here ever you're the best the one of the best tour guys i've ever had oh my gosh she led or tour or back tour taco tour so sweet and then after she invited me to jazz night where her friends are performing and i went and life-changing oh my gosh i feel like i feel so enriched and i feel like a completely different person i feel like every time i go on a solo trip or every time i leave the fucking shithole that is jamaica my life changes and i just gain a new lease on life and i realize how limitless life is and it's just that jamaica is a shithole and did i say jamaica is a shithole jamaica is a shithole um yeah i realize how much more there is to life and how much more there is to experience you know and it's limitless it's limitless what your mind can do and what you can experience grateful oh my gosh um all i can say now is so, it's soft life era okay soft life era period that's all that's it end of story that's it end of story oh well, yeah i have so much content that i need to prep and everything i'm so excited because i feel like i did a really great job at capturing everything this um trip and <coughs> i can't wait to share everything with you guys and you guys are watching this vlog sharing obviously but anyway a little tour of my airbnb i'm at the window i need this kind of lighting at home but anyway there's a hammock outside i'm not sure if i'm gonna go inside the hammock yet depending on how i feel tomorrow morning but i'm gonna wake up early so i can experience everything um 
yeah then the outside like that then there's like a sliding door this is a sliding door then the dining area and then the kitchen over there i love the kitchen i love the woodwork i think it's just gorgeous and then the island very very contemporary very minimalist and then the staircase which goes up to the bedroom i'm gonna show you guys a little bit later and then that's the staircase for the front door right there and then tv and blah 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 out here and i am on the couch um i definitely could live here i definitely could live here um do i want to live here yes do i want to stay here yes can i no and i want to cry about that um but anyway so so grateful and i can't wait for you guys to see how no let me just say thank you so much guys for your support um on my content and everything as a content creator well for me personally being able to treat myself being able to do things because of my hard work is has been is and has been one of my main goals ever like ever like since i started this you know since i realized that i don't want to do college anymore i realized okay i want to travel and you know being able to do what i love you know share what i love and have you guys appreciate it and i say it all the time but like it's it's ridiculous even though there's only like 600 and st something of you on youtube all of the people that support me on all the other platforms that help to help me to earn money help me to earn a living you know off of my hard work it's just it's beyond me to be honest um, i can't wait to see how much more success i you know so it's a, how much more successful i will get because this is really only a drop in the bucket um but it's a huge drop in the bucket let me say that um i appreciate you guys so much and hear the echo ah anyway <laughs> um so i'm gonna watch some netflix and whatever and then hydrate my body um i'm so grateful that's all i can say i'm so grateful so 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 grateful oh my god i could cry but um outside of um this is my second solo trip so you know it only gets better from here honey you know the vibes period good morning i don't want to leave oh my gosh i don't want to leave it's literally heaven here but i have to get back to real life oh my god i'm probably gonna cry on the plane because this was the best trip ever <laughs> but um i just had some of my agua fresca from agua fresca I got fresh cut from yesterday with um, mango. It's a plane. Anyway, um, <sighs> my flight isn't only really late down in the evening, so I'm gonna just rest and stuff and, you know, see if I can get something else to eat, something else super Mexican before I go. <laughs> I'm on the way to the airport and I'm just so emotional. Oh my gosh, this is probably one of the most transformative like experiences I've ever had. With all I can say, I feel like this I know it sounds so cliche, but you know, traveling somewhere new is like traveling somewhere new alone, you know, it's it's like a different feeling. It's, it's just like I I couldn't have done this trip any better. I mean, the fainting, if I didn't faint, I would have, it, would, it would have been better. But even so, like after, you know, with Eric, the tour guide, he was so nice, very accommodating. I made sure to tip him well because that was definitely not what, you know, not even this specific Airbnb, but like just the entire experience, you know, and like, being able, I feel like being able to connect with people is what really made me just so emotional um, because so social anxiety is real and experiencing that here I don't experience any form of anxiety like I didn't at all and I don't know how to explain it but 
you know it's it's just it was just so calming and I I definitely feel like I want to migrate like I'm not even joking like saying it like in my videos that I'm gonna leave and I keep saying it that I'm gonna I need to find somewhere to move to but like this it's here like what I want is here and I know just seeing it five days you know what I mean it's it's still you know in awe I'm in awe I'm in awe um but yeah I'll check in with you guys when I get to the airport so security to my bag yesterday it's a whole long story I can't bother to explain but I'm just I was so distraught yesterday um, so I'm having to stay an extra night in Mexico City. My SPF is probably still on my face, like seeping in. But anyway, I had to book another Airbnb and I had to book a whole nother flight. And basically, the person at the gate, um, because they took my bag, I asked her for help. Um, she was very nonchalant about it. And like, she just told me, oh, you're going to miss your flight. Are oh, you going to miss your flight? Like without helping me, um, she sent me to the wrong place. She sent me to Lost and Found, even though my bag was only at security. I was a bit. I hate to use the R word, but why give me the wrong information? Like when you clearly see I'm trying to get home, why give me the wrong information? And I say that it's the wrong information because I, I when when I. Um, exited the gate and I went to the the Aeromexico counter um, to ask them for help. That per I already went to Lost and Found and I had to come back to the Aeromexico counter to ask somebody for help. She told me straight up that the person sent me to the wrong place because my bag wasn't there. So I know it wasn't me. I wasn't the one that was making the mistake. I hate using the racist word, but that's the only that's the only explanation for why she would give me wrong information. Even somebody from her own team said that she gave me the wrong information. And everybody else that helped me after that told me the same thing. I have one of Dominique's memory cards. Dominique says, not me stealing your memory card. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, sis. I will text you if you're watching this. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I I forgot. I haven't opened like my memory card case since the wedding, so I didn't remember um, that I borrowed it for her camera. So just want to show you guys this Airbnb before I leave. Um, very nice. I'll add the link to um, the description box as well minimalist here it's like an actual hotel so um, yeah and the king-size bed up there king-size bed um, yeah decor is nice and then out there I love this style like this loft style is so gorgeous I I love it I love it yeah I'm gonna live in an apartment like this one day just wait <laughs> That's all I can say. Just wait. Just wait. So, I'm just waiting on my Uber to get here. I did a scheduled Uber, so I'm just waiting on it. I'm very, very, very anxious. I can't. <sighs> yeah. Thank you.